So I've just had my pre-op assessment uh, done. I wasn't allowed to film inside, they've told me off now for filming. Um, so yeah, there's the hospital, great. Um, and yeah, uh, I'm quite nervous about it all. They're gonna cut out the whole thing, the whole area. Um, so we'll see what happens. I'm gonna go and have a fun day. Let's go have a fun day, boo. Okay, so today hasn't gone how I thought it would. Um, Pre-op assessment and everything has happened and it's worrying. Everything's worrying. Um, cancer's clearly spread quite a lot and I, I, I did a blog post on my website, peewetoms.com, uh, that cancer is a lonely place. And cancer is a lonely place. It's a lonely thing to deal with. Um, especially when you're one of very few people with this kind of type of cancer. Um, it's impossible to realize the situation in its full gravitas or the gravity of the situation um, it's hard, hard to kind of visualize everything for you guys I'm sure of what's going on with me but if I tell you now that I've got to have a massive surgery on the 28th and it's not just a small surgery it's going to be from like my spine in the center of my back all the way around to my side, well, let me walk back. It'll be round to around here, so my spine round to around here, all up here, uh, all my lymph nodes out, everything, and that'll all be in one go. Now I've chosen to do it that way and hope for the best afterwards. And that's all I can do. Hope for the best. Boosh! One of the major concerns for me is am I going to come around from this and be severely uh, different to how I was? Um, am I going to find it hard to do things that I once enjoyed? And that's a question I can't answer yet until it's all done and happens. But I've, I've got to let it happen. Uh, I have to let it happen. It's a lot to take in. And anyone who's going through this whole like cancer situation knows exactly how hard it is to take in. But yeah, today didn't go my way. Hopefully tomorrow will. So see you tomorrow. Badoosh, bye.